All right, the first thing I'm going to do is do a new document. I'm going to set it for digital. And um, I'm going to set it for vertical. You can do horizontal, but I'm going to do vertical. Do that. Then what you do is you have your folder of photos. And they all have to be the exact same size. I guess technically they don't have to be the exact same size. Um, but they, well, actually they do. Um, if you have white, uh, it cannot be see-through. So, but they have to be the same size images. So I have a bunch here that are the same size, and these are just some endorsement JPEGs that I've made previously that I just grabbed because these are the exact same size. And so I'm going to take those and grab them in, drag them in. And there's our icon. Let's try to get one, two, three, four. There we go. And um, remember the command to do this, but you want to get them perfectly on top of each other. And so I'm just going to do this by hand. Now they're perfectly on top of each other. The next thing you want to do is come here and select layers. And the layer window will pop up. If you click on this, you'll see the different images. All right. So then what you want to do is call up the uh, window interactive object states. And so what you want to do is select all of them and then go right down here to create a new multi-state object. So there we go. So I'm going to call this slideshow. Okay, and you'll see in it that it's got state one, state two, state three, state four. So it's converted these images, so to speak, to states. And I might um, rename these, uh, their, whatever the content is, to make it more simpler. But uh, that's what you want to do up until this point. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is create um, either arrows to go from one to the other, or you create buttons. You can do, but basically you're going to create a button. So for the sake of time, I'm going to create a really lame button here really quick. Um, and we'll just fill it here, just really ugly blue here. Okay, and so you select that. You go to Object, Interactive. Convert to button. And then the button window pops up. And this is button one. Actually, it's called button three because I was already practicing. But So we're going to call this button three. Um, I can change the name of it. On release or tap, I'm going to have it go to state, which means it's going to go to one of the slides I choose. Or you can go to the next state or the previous state if you're just doing arrows. You can just go boom, boom, boom through your slideshow, but but I'm going to go to state, okay? So go to state, and it that's the name of the object, the multi-state object. I only have one in there, and it's going to go to state one, okay? Done, okay? Now we can make our buttons more sophisticated. Um, we'll look at that in a second, but okay. And I'm going to copy and paste this slide it down there and it's uh, automatically created a new button on release go to state and I'm gonna go to um, go to state 2 boom okay save that and see how there's a little icon that shows it's a button shows it's a button copy and paste again we've got another button okay and it's another button on release or tap. Go to state. I'm going to go to state four, three. Okay. Hit save. And these aren't lined up very well, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and they look hideous. But I'm going to do a shift command return, and it gives me a swift preview, which is a preview of our interactive document. And you'll see that as I click on them, they go to the appropriate states. This is state one, so it doesn't change. And that's 
that's how you make a slideshow uh, or a multi-state object. Um, the other thing that's cool is on each layer, for example, let's say I wanted to have um, text in here, you can just group the photo and the text together. I could put a text box here and have four different text box. So when I clicked on the button, the photo would change, but also the text associated with that image, because I would have a text grouped with that image through command G. Um, and that's a real simple way of doing it. Now, we want our buttons to look more sophisticated. So let's look at how we can do that. So let me show you just conceptually, even though these won't look that great, how to make a button have multi-states in it. So you get the kind of rollover effect. Now, the thing is uh, to remember is you can make buttons clear. You can make uh, them sit on top of um, documents. So you can click on things. That's how uh, we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, but they can look like things. They don't have to be squares. They can be whatever. And you can actually set them on top of objects as well. Um, so that allows you to get, be more creative. So what I'm going to do now, though, is take and make this quick multi-state um, object button. So there's uh, the, the original button. I'll convert to a button again, as I've done before. And <laughs> Where in the heck is it? Uh, object, sorry. Um, interactive button, convert to button, and there's our elements. And if we click on this, it puts them in the other states. So there's normal. That's when it's sitting there. This is when the mouse rolls over. Now, since you're on a, um, an iPad, there's nothing but a click. Um, if uh, you're on a computer and you export this as a Swift, a Flash document, then you can roll over and have a, a second state. Here we have just a first and a third state, so to speak. So I'm going to click this off, and that puts me in this uh, click on click, and I double, so that means I'm in this mode. So now I can double click here and go and change the color of this. Okay, so normal. Okay, I'm going to put a rollover in just for the fun of it. Get on that one. So now I'm in this state, just so you can see, because I'm going to be on computer here. Now I'll just put a crazy green one in there. Okay. So now, uh, again, I got to put program my button here so that it goes to state, slide, whatever. Okay. And now I'll hit turn. And so now, as you see, as I roll over, See, it changes to the crazy blue, and watch when I click, then it goes to, um, it quickly went to, I'm on that same state, but it quickly went to the light blue on click. And then on release, it goes back to if I'm rolling over. But there's really lots of cool things you can do with that actual um, programming tip. So uh, let me open up another document and show you a little bit more.